have some funky fresh moves. Captain Crano! Skate Lab! Wolf Girl! Timo Supremo! Shouldn't you children be in school? Come on, Timo! Supremo, I've lost my patience with you. We'll be right back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Get ready, because every night we're taking Jet X to a whole new level. Making it fast, cool, big, weird, and funny. Jet X! More of your favorite episodes of Digimon, right here on Toon Disney. Good morning, sir. May I please be allowed to mail you free information about the incredibly comfortable Craftmatic adjustable bed? Not interested. Why not? Because I already own a Craftmatic adjustable bed. If you don't own a Craftmatic, call to get this special $200 off rebate certificate. Don't delay. Call to receive this free catalog and $200 off rebate certificate now. Call toll-free 1-800-634-3700. Own a timeshare, turn it into cash. Timeshare's only got us our full asking price in just a few weeks. We couldn't believe it. Own a campground membership, turn it into cash. Timeshares only sold our campground membership fast. And for the price we wanted. Timeshares only is the nation's largest, number one, most successful timeshare agency. We represent properties from the biggest names in the timeshare industry. When it comes to selling, renting, or buying timeshares, no one comes close to timeshares only. With over $2 billion of timeshares sold in the last six months, now's the perfect time to sell, rent, or buy. And no one sells more timeshares than we do. We work for timeshares only. And our timeshare was rented before the next monthly payment was due. You owe it to yourself to work with the best. Timeshares only, the most trusted name in timeshares. Call 800-694-9981 to sell, rent, or buy your timeshare and get your free information kit. Must be 18 years or older to call. Now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Well, that's that. Now for a little lunchtime bowling. Hey, who's out there? Yeah, 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 you! No, it can't be! Not here! Despite his scientific genius in discovering the basis of alternating current, Tesla was also rather eccentric, and yes, Crandall. Is it true Tesla said he could split the Earth like an apple? Well... And that he could communicate with other planets? Ah. Uh, and that he had invented a death ray? Actually, yes, Crandall, but he never proved any of those claims. Tesla was a bit strange, which is what being eccentric means. Very well. Hector Crandall, Brenda, you're to report to the governor's office immediately. It seems Governor Kevin needs you to resod his putting green. We're on our way! Good afternoon, Governor Kevin. What seems to be the problem? Uh, actually, it's the chief. Whoa, what happened to him? Apparently, something so scary that everyone else on his floor left for the day. He'll be okay. He just fainted. Oh, brother, I've been gooped. I remember now. It was horrible, horrible. Easy there, Chief. You're with friends now. Who or what did this to you? It was an army of ghouls and that, that, that cloak skull guy. <gasps> the cloak skull? That strange cloak and skull costume must have found another person to do more hauntings. Right, like the guy that haunted that haunted house on Horror Hill. Yes, it's him. And that other guy that haunted the beach. Or not him. 
But... But that's impossible. Sam's right. The Cloak and Skull are safely locked away in a level 7 vault. <laughs> At least they are when I'm not experimenting on them. I know what I saw, and I know who he is this time. You're in a state of shock, Chief. Perhaps you should lie back down. Listen to me. The Cloak Skull is really, really... That's better. Yeah! Ooh, you said it, Rope Girl. That is some seriously goopy goop. Yes, and quite fascinating. Careful with that goop, Paulson. It could be dangerous. Don't worry. <laughs> Keep an eye on the Chief, Sam. I want to run some tests on this stuff. And we'll go check out the Chief's office. Look at all the goop. And the trail leads off this way. What do you think we're up against? Maybe some really big snails? That's not what the chief said. Who would stack books like that? Snails? Or maybe it was those guys. I'm not afraid of those ghouls. But that... Ah! Hey, my yo-yo recoiled. Don't worry, amigos. I can handle them. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh, rope girl? No problem. Whoop. Huh? Nice try, kids, but your little tools are useless against the power of the real Cloak Skull. <laughs> Goodbye, Timo Supremo. Wow! It's the Cloak Skull, all right. Yeah, and this time our super tools are afraid of him. That's impossible. Still, we better run this by Mr. Paulson. Hi, Samantha. Is Mr. Paulson around? Yeah! We just had a run-in with the Cloak Skull! You did? Are you sure? It was him, all right. That's very strange. Paulson's experimenting on the Cloak and Skull right now. He, he is? is? Yes, come on, I'll show you. Hi, Mark. We're here to see Paulson. Oh, gosh, well, he's not here. He isn't? No, I, I guess he was having some um, problems with his experiment and needed to step out. Oh, hi, kids. Samantha? Paulson, I thought you were in with the Cloak and Skull. I was, but my test blew out a relay board, so I... Mr. Paulson, I think you should know that we just saw the Cloak and Skull in the Capitol building. Oh, dear. Mark, are the Cloak and Skull still in the lab? Everything's just like you left it, Mr. Paulson. Would you mind if we looked for ourselves? No, not at all, Timo. The Cloak and Skull are really quite remarkable. This chip appears to be the Skull's central processor, but the technology is like nothing I've seen before. Strange. It looks really familiar to me somehow. Well, wait until you see what happens when the robotic arm tries to touch the masked circuitry. Oh, dear. Not again. <laughs> Well, our super tool sure worked that time. You gotta be careful when you're messing with things you don't understand, Mr. Paulson. Yes, but if we didn't do research, we'd never understand anything. Even when the research blows up your lab? The cloak and skull are more dangerous than we first thought. You're right, Sam. I think I'll finish my research by myself so <laughs> no one else gets hurt. I still don't get it. If the cloak and skull are here, who's haunting the capital? I'm not sure. Perhaps we should pay a visit to the two former cloak skulls. Here they are, the two former cloaked skulls. Look, they're not moving. Aha, holograms. Do you mind? We're trying to play chess here. He's no hologram, Cap. Indeed. So, what do we know so far? Well, the new cloaked skull isn't either of the old cloaked skulls, and frankly, I'm stymied. And he can deactivate our level 7 super tools. And the only person who has access to the cloak and skull is... Mr. Paulson. I don't want to fight Mr. Paulson. Why would you fight Mr. Paulson? We think he's been corrupted by the sinister cloak and skull. Really? He always seemed so nice. A bit eccentric, but nice. We don't know who else it could be, Jean. Well, you have to do your job. An English statesman once said, if we do not maintain justice, justice will not maintain us. Even if it means putting Mr. Paulson in jail? Sorry, Timo, but I have to know this stuff if I want to be Attorney General someday. I like it better when the bad guys aren't our friends. But if we let a friend get away with wrongdoing, then we'd be doing wrong, too. It's Governor, Governor Kevin! Timo, I need you back at the Capitol building right away. 
The cloaked skull is in my office. It's my office now. Prepare to meet your doom, pretty boy. We're on our way. Ready to capture Mr. Paulson? Uh, you know our super tools won't work against him. We've defeated the cloaked skull without our super tools before. Yeah, but we really wanted to get him that time. I know it won't be fun, but we're sworn to uphold justice no matter what. You're right, Cap. Let's go. Timo Supremo. I feel so funky, and not in a fresh sort of way. You'll feel even funkier unless you sign over the entire state to me. There will be no signings today, Cloak Skull. Timo Supremo? Ha! Ah, your meddling super tools are no match for me. That's okay. We've got plenty of other ways to meddle. Ah, stop it! Why don't you use your ineffective super tools, you little twerps? Because they didn't work the last time. No, don't use that filing cabinet. It's a haunted filing cabinet. That's what I was counting on. Stop chasing me, or I'll have to do something really scary. As scary as this office chair? Time to wrap this one up. Bazaar! Curses. Good work, kids. So who's the cloak skull this time? It doesn't matter. I'm gonna lock him up and throw away the key. Even if he's Mr. Paulson? Paulson? Indeed. Our analysis of the facts leads us to believe that this time the cloak skull is Mr. Paulson. Er, uh, maybe I'll keep the key. We can't treat him any differently than the other cloak skulls just because he's our friend. As much as it bums me out, Skate Lad's right. You can't play favorites with justice. I just can't believe the cloak skull corrupted my boss. Neither can I. Mr. Paulson! In the flesh. <laughs> the cloak skull locked me in a closet without my level 7 door opener. So it took me a while to construct a new one and escape. Okay, fella. Let's see who you are. Oh, no. It's Mark. The, the level, level 7 security, security guard. guard. Sorry, everyone. The cloak and skull just called out to me. And just like the previous two cloaked skulls, I was unable to resist its sinister hypnotic suggestions. But what I did was wrong. So, Chief, I guess you'll just have to take me to jail. I don't even feel like yelling at this time. We're really happy the cloak skull wasn't you, Mr. Paulson. That's for sure. Indeed. <laughs> Thanks, kids. But I'm afraid it very easily could have been me. I think I've finally learned my lesson. <laughs> Sometimes dangerous things, no matter how fascinating, need to be destroyed. Hey, where did the cloak and skull go? Yellow, you got your gov. No way. No way! Oh, total weirdosity. The two former cloaked skulls have just vanished from their cells. Did Mark come back in here? Zazzle! What's going on? I'm not certain, but I am certain that we haven't heard the last of the cloaked skull. Or cloaked skulls. Great one! Three new recruits have just materialized. Excellent. My army is almost ready. Soon, those goody goodies will wish they never messed with me. <laughs> we'll be right back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. She had no reading skills. I think she understood that letters had sounds, but she did not have any ability to put them together. And I was just crying. I remember I was just sitting there going, I can't my kid read. We read a lot when she was little. She's always been the kind that wants to learn things. And Bruno could read more than Cat sat and, and things like that. So I think we had a very good head start. By the time he was three years old, Thomas knew a lot about the alphabet. And he came to us and said, Mom, Dad, you need to get me hooked on phonics. I want to learn how to read. Thomas has, in a few short months, achieved something a lot of people spend many years struggling with. I was able to take Brenna to kindergarten registration and tell her teacher that she's already reading. And I think it took her by surprise. I don't think you can describe how it makes you feel. You're just like, that's my baby. <laughs> Anybody could do this. Any parent could do it with a child. And if you can follow simple directions, you can pretty much teach your kid to read with this program. Hooked on Phonics has made a huge difference in our lives. She's reading. 
I would tell people, the only thing you knew about Brenna was that she was the reader. And Hooked on Phonics is the reason that she is the reader. Your child can be a reader, too, with Hooked on Phonics. Improve reading skills and confidence and with a money-back guarantee. Hooked on Phonics works for struggling readers, children who want a head start, and young early readers. You can call now for our $29.95 risk-free trial offer. The self-confidence that she got from going through the program was just immense. It doesn't matter how much it costs. It was worth every penny. I tell their parents to get hooked on phonics. It's just that simple. It worked where other things didn't work for us. It really works, and people say, wow, he reads so well. But I will get the kitten back. And we say, it's hooked on phonics. <laughs> you can call 1-800-524-0260 for the Hooked on Phonics 29.95 risk-free trial offer. If you don't see dramatic improvement in your child's reading in four weeks, send it back for a full refund. Must be 18 or older to call. I read a book every night before I went to bed. Now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Moments ago on Timo Supremo, the two former cloaked skulls have just vanished from their cells. Did Mark come back in here? What's going on? Soon, those are goody goodies. Will wish they never messed with me. And now, Timo Supremo. Zero gravity scenario complete. Perfect score. Great work, Timo. Yeah, if Earth's gravity ever goes on the fritz, we'll be ready. Timo, can you boogie on up here? We're on our way. Gee, Mrs. Willingans, why are our state's greatest minds here? Governor Kevin called us in for an emergency meeting. That's right, we've just received this transmission from the moon. Lights, please. Attention all of you Earth people. I and my newly assembled army have an important message for you. Zazo! That thing's got an army of cloak skulls. My luxury planet is in the need of a better waves for surfing. So I'll be taking your moon. The moon? He can't be serious. I'm always a serious watch as I demonstrate the power of my mega graviton beam on your council of planetary standards and practices. <laughs> Is headquarters to all Earth's heroes. All of your planet's heroes are now my prisoners. Too bad. You can kiss your moon and goodbye. Sounds bad. It is. The moon's gravity is constantly pulling at the Earth. Yes, the most noticeable effect are the ocean's tides. But if someone were to pull the moon away from the Earth, it could knock the Earth off its orbit around the sun. It could even send the Earth and the moon hurtling into space in different directions. Putting it gently, it could end all life on Earth as we know it. Bummer. I'm sure we all have big plans. What are we gonna do? All of the Earth's adult heroes have been captured. Not all of them. Captain Excellent. In the tights. Were you on the satellite? No, fortunately, I was on the back nine of a celebrity golf tournament. So, who is this moon-stealing villain? His alien name is... But saying that just hurts your teeth. We'll just call him Big Skull. He does have a big skull. Takes one to know one. But seriously, Big Skull is a galactic criminal mastermind slash real estate baron. So, how are you gonna stop this Big Skull? With the Council captive, I'll need help. Your help, Timo. Huh? You kids are the Earth's finest up-and-coming super agents. The four of us are Earth's last best hope. You can count on us, sir. Timo, we're going to the moon. Excellent. My rocket's docked right outside. Boss ride, super dude. It gets me where I need to go. Up on board, Timo. <laughs> Don't go yet, kids. Mr. Paulson? Sam and I just whipped up these pressurized spacesuits for you. Oops. I forgot you tiny titans need those. My own super suit allows me to work in any environment. Come on, Timo. Let's get on board and suit up. All systems go. Timo, do the honors. Three, two, one! Timo Supremo! Hey! I can see my house from here. Uh, not anymore. The Earth looks so small from up here. Indeed. It's hard to believe over six billion people live down there. That's right, Cap. And every one of those six billion people is counting on us. Oh! Just another day at the office for us heroes, right? Uh, right. Now to free the captive council from their grounded satellite. 
Okay, Timo, here we go. Rope girl, ladies first. No, 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 that's okay. You go, Cap. Uh, very well. One giant step for Kid Khan. Baza! Here goes nothing. Chica! Whoop! <laughs> sure is quiet up here. Yes, Earth's moon is one dead rock. This is dead? Nothing like it. Hello, Dr. Fastastic? Liquid lass? Human alloy? Anybody home? No one's here. Hmm. Big Skull must be holding them somewhere else. But where? A sublunar lair accessed via secret crater doors. It's possible, Captain Crandall, but Big Skull has also been known to use giant orbiting ice cages to hold captives and... No, Captain Excellent, look! It's the army of Glog Skulls. How kind of them to reveal their secret hiding place. Let's go, kids. Ka-sang! Prepare to meet your doom! Showtime, Timo! And remember, the fate of humanity depends on us. All of humanity? But, but, but we're just kids! What are we doing here? We're here to save the Earth before Big Skull sends it shooting off into space. The Earth shooting into space. Graviton ah! beam! We never should have come! I want my mama! Oh, let go, you boneheads! Timo! Timo Supremo! Help! We'll be right back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Have you ever wanted to develop your artistic abilities? If so, you may already have the interest and desire needed to become a serious art student. To find out, simply call toll-free, and art instruction schools will send you this enjoyable art test. Since 1914, we've helped thousands of aspiring artists become more skilled, more confident, and more creative in their art. Call today for your free art test. We'll help you become a better artist. Call 1-800-641-4433. What do you know about computers? My daughter definitely knows how to use a computer better than I do half the time, <laughs> and she's three and a half. Hi, I'm John Scherer, CEO and founder of Video Professor. You know, I've been hearing comments like that for over 14 years now. Listen to this. I did the Excel, and it was, it was a lot of fun. Really? Ah, I had a real good time. I learned a lot. The difference? Just an hour with one of my CDs, and they're easy to use. The CD plays like a video on your computer screen. Just follow the step-by-step -step instruction. If you call now, I'll send you one free. You just pay a small shipping and handling. Well, the reason I'll do this is because I know that once you try my product, you'll come back to us for all your computer learning needs. You know, if you can't learn, I'll even refund your shipping and handling. So, learn a new skill in less than an hour. Try my product. I think that's the most fun I've had learning something about the computer. To get your free computer learning CD, you must call now. Call 1-800-320-8183. Now, back to Timo Supremo, right here on Toon Disney. Oh, let go, you boneheads. Timo, Timo Supremo, help! What about them? Leave them there. You heard them, they're just kids. <laughs> Ground control to Timo Supremo. Come in, Timo. Uh. Captain C here. We read you loud and clear, Governor Kevin. Hey, kids, how are things up on La Bella Luna? Can you bring back moon rocks? I'm afraid we'll only be bringing back disappointment, sirs. How's that? We froze in battle. Captain Excellent got captured! We were too scared to do anything. All of humanity was counting on us, and we failed. Hey, kids, being scared never hurt anybody. It's not the end of the world, you know. Actually, this time it might be. Timo, you can't let fear get in the way of what you have to do. Gene's right. As a cool cat once said, beware doesn't mean be scared. It just means be aware. That's kind of catchy. Thanks for the proverbial proverb, Governor Kevin. Over and out. Now, we've got an important job to do, Timo, and we can't let fear stop us. <laughs> So, what are we looking for, Cap? Anything that might help even the odds. Freeze-dried ice cream? A machine that goes ping? Timu, I think I found something really helpful. Cap, where'd you go, amigo? I'm right over here. I found the Council's cache of incredible cloaking cloaks. These things make you invisible? Indeed. 
Anyone still scared? Not anymore. No, but I'm very, very aware. This place is huge. And it's crawling with cloak skulls. Or is it hovering with them? You won't get away with this, big skull. Stop calling me that! Increase the graviton field on the ex-captain excellent so he can't move his lips either! <laughs> Music to my cochlea. Now, Council, watch as my Mega Graviton Beam pushes the moon out of orbit. Activate the Mega Graviton Generator! We gotta get to that generator. Whoa! How are we supposed to turn this thing off, Cap? Ten, nine, eight. Why don't we just drain the power supply by turning this giant switch? I didn't know you knew how to decipher alien technology. Neither did I, but I guess I do. Well, here goes Three, everything. Two, one. Huh? Hey, where's my great big beam? We're free. No. Who's responsible for this? Timo Supremo. You again. I should have taken care of you when I stole the hypno cheaper from your home planet! Is he talking to you, Cap? Maybe. And uh, speaking of a hypno chips, Cloak Skulls! Attack! Council! Forward! Cars! Come on, Timo! Into the fray! Not so fast, you little twerp! Gee, yo! Put me down! Whoa! Hey, Timo! A am I in jail? Lizzie! The former level 7 security guard who was corrupted by the cloak and skull and then disappeared. Of course, the skull mask! Council Hero, go for the mask! Thanks for the tip, Tiny Titan. Sang. Big skull. We've overcome my skull masked army. Curse of the Didi Didi. You've not heard the last of me. He's getting away. Don't worry, Cap. You've done your part by saving the Earth and her moon. The Council will track down Big Skull. I don't know. I don't know. And besides, we've got to figure out how to get these beings back to their respective worlds. You sure saved the day today, Timo. How did you find the courage? I mean, at first, you kids really choked. Choked nothing. We were scared stiff. Indeed. But being super means doing the right thing, even when you're scared out of your wits. Most impressive. Say, how about a victory lap around the moon? Nah, we better get back to Earth before we're late for school. Yeah, Macy Mrs. Willingans when you're late is really scary. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up next, it's Tailspin, followed by The Little Mermaid, right here on Toon Disney.